Hey, Chem 30s, in this video, we're gonna talk about equilibrium and introduce sort of the concepts of that and Le Chatelier's principle as well. Uh, so equilibrium is this idea that reactions don't go quote unquote to completion. In other words, we've talked a lot about reactions that only travel in one direction. Um, we've usually said that if we react something, we produce a product. And in grade 10, you probably would have learned that chemical changes are irreversible. That's not true. Um, unfortunately, many of our, t many of us as teachers lied to you. Um, many reactions are in fact reversible that if you were to say, let's take sodium hydroxide and react that with hydrochloric acid, uh, and you were to react it, you would actually see that this reaction producing NaCl and H2O is actually reversible where we end up using this fancy schmancy arrow here make it a little bit bigger, to say that this reaction can happen in the forward direction and the reverse direction as well. Meaning if I had NaCl and H2O and I put them in a glass together, there's the potential for it, them to react as well and form NaOH and HCl. And what will happen is in any given beaker, so let's say that you're doing this exact reaction in a beaker, equilibrium will be reached when the rates of the forward and reverse reaction forward and reverse reaction, come on, forward and reverse are equal. It's not when the concentrations are equal. I want that to be very clear that concentrations are often different. Um, a lot of times we'll see a one side of the reaction being favored. So let's say that when we react this, we actually see that the concentrations of the products are higher. We'd say that this reaction is product favored. Now, products of reactants, because we have a reversible reaction, is whatever is written on the left, that's considered the reactant. Whatever is written on the right is considered the product. We can also have reactions where, let's say that we have the concentration of the reactants or the amount of the reactants being higher. In that particular case, we would say that this is reactant favored, meaning that this reaction doesn't really happen a lot, but that these, these reactants are staying basically the same and not reacting together. And so that's what equilibrium is. It's when the rates of the forward and reverse are equal. Um, it's similar to thinking walking up a down escalator. I'm sure many of you have done that before. It's a lot of fun to do. If you are walking up at the same rate that the escalator is coming down, you will not be moving at all. Now, what's worth noting is if you're walking up that escalator, there's my really rough stairs, here's human being, you can be anywhere on that series of steps. You might be here, you might be here, it really depends. And so we can have, as long as the rates are the same, as long as this individual and this individual are staying in the same place, we have equilibrium. And where that comes into play is when we start talking about Le Chatelier's principle. So Le Chatelier's principle says, what happens if we change a reaction that has reached equilibrium? So what happens if we have this reaction happening here and I take out part of the product or I add in some of the reactant? What happens? There's four different scenarios where Le Chatelier's principle applies. One is concentrations. One is concentrations. Two would be with uh, pressure and volume and that occurs with the gases. Three would be what happens with temperature. And four would be, well, what happens if we add a catalyst? And so those four things are the four things that can influence or change what's happening in a state of equilibrium. Eventually equilibrium will always be reached, but that is kind of what is happening or how we can adjust or change or take advantage of equilibrium reactions. Concentration, pressure, and volume are done a lot of times in industrial purposes. For us in Saskatchewan, potash is a big way. You take potash out of the reaction, it ends up producing more potash. But we'll have Les Chatelier's videos on each one of these four concepts coming right away.